from uh, Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga, a actually sculpturally or, or just aesthetically quite a, an appealing piece. Now, the the material from this uh, a section or this pocket uh, has a brecciation which runs lengthwise. And here in this case, in this brecciation, we have this little vug. Uh, first of all, we have underlying the whitish to pale blue would be a, a crasser color. Sitting on that would be a lawn of druzy quartz crystals. And trapped within this vug are these very, very, uh, I'll just see if we can get closer. I think on my still picture, I managed to get a pretty good shot of these crystals over here. Now my supply tells me we're looking at uh, a libethanite. I, I very much doubt it. Primary malachite in my book is out of the question. Um, we're looking at, I'm going to call it Vizigiarite as I've been going that route, but we, we're looking at perhaps Vizigiarite, uh, Paramelaconite, or, or even uh, Gerhardite crystals over there. Now, my wife found something else interesting is that there's different colors, uh, uh, the dark green, even going into the black. So. But let's just go a little bit closer to show you the crystal form of those. So it's striations on the edges of the crystal. And depending on the angle where you take it, it's it's almost, um, could be almost pyramidal if you take it across like that. There's some other crystals sitting there, of course. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga, but all in all a pretty, pretty uh, aesthetic specimen. So on a turntable, we'd have this effect going around. The matrix is slightly greenish, maybe some malachite in the matrix. Go around like that, dusting of chrysocolor, maybe some heterogenite too, the, the black material. Then there you have the greenish again, and there's sort of an underlayer of blue in here too.